Hi everyone, my name is Helga, also known as Pudding Fish Cakes, and in today's episode I'll be talking more in depth about glaze. What is glaze? Glaze or varnish is a coating that many people use for their polymer clay pieces. It gives your charm a bit more durability and it also seals any paint that is on your charm. It can also give your piece a really nice shine if your glaze is glossy. Here's a comparison of a charm before glazing and after glazing. You can really see the difference of how the charm is glossier and shinier after it's been glazed. What kind of glaze do you use? I currently use Varathane Polyurethane, which as you can see is in this huge can I got from Amazon. I've separated it into a nice little glass jar, which I got from my local dollar store, and this is a lot easier to access and use. This glaze is very glossy, I haven't had any problems with stickiness or yellowing, and it holds up very well, so I definitely recommend this glaze. This is originally used for hardwood finishes, so it's very durable and you don't have to worry about it cracking or rubbing off. What I also really like about this glaze is that it's very thin, so I can simply dip my charms into the jar without any problems. I'll be talking more about how I glaze my charms in about a minute or so. Before I started using Varathane, I used Triple Thick, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. I used this glaze for quite a long time before I switched over to the glaze I'm using now, and it worked pretty well for me. In warmer conditions, Triple Thick can get pretty sticky, so I don't recommend this if you live in a warmer climate. It can also get really thick, so it should be applied with a brush rather than dipping, which leads me into the next question. How do you glaze your charms? Like I mentioned earlier, I either use a brush or dip my charms into glaze. Using a brush is pretty self-explanatory. Simply coat your charm with glaze like you would with paint. Make sure you rinse your brush off after each use. Let your charm dry by hanging it someplace clean and well ventilated. The second method I use is dipping my charm directly into the glaze. Keep in mind that this only works on thin glazes, such as Varathane, so don't try this with triple thick. After dipping the charm, hold it above the jar for a few seconds so that the excess can drip off, and then hang it on a wire frame to let dry for about 4 hours. The glaze may collect at the bottom of the charm, so what I like to do is use a clean tissue and lightly dab the bottom. Glazing your charm isn't totally necessary. It's really up to you and what you want to do with your piece. I did a tutorial a few weeks back on this antler necklace, and I didn't use glaze for this since I wanted to keep it matte and vintage looking. You can also glaze certain parts of your charm, like how I only glazed the filling of these apple pies and left the crust matte to keep it more realistic. Of course, you can also glaze the entire piece like what I did for this paper boat charm. So that's about all I have to say about glazing your pieces. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer. If you have anything to add to what I covered today, go ahead and comment down below so that myself and other people watching can learn from you. Like this video if you liked it, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that you'll be notified of new videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!